Right on this episode of Audio and Vision, Canon releases a firmware enabling clean HDMI out from their 5D3. We take a look at Magic Lantern's development for raw video on the Canon 5D Mark III. The guys over at Wolfdale updated their Jade line of loudspeakers, and I'll be showing you the updates I'm doing to my camera to make it unique. Stay tuned, because this is Audio and Vision. Hey everyone, Jason here. I'm back. I didn't really go anywhere, I just didn't make much videos. This is what I'm planning to carry on with. It's called Audio and Vision. Very creative. Yes, that's my slogan. So that's what the show is going to be like. So I'm hoping to do it weekly and kind of gather up all the stuff that I'm interested in. Hopefully there's someone else out there who likes the same kind of thing as well. So then, have you seen this? Clean HDMI out on the Canon 5D Mark III. Wow, that's a big update. I'm not sure what the firmware version is, but I'm reading about it, and that is 422 at 8 bit out of the HDMI. That is absolutely fantastic. The only other cameras which can compete with that is the D800 from Nikon and the D4 from Nikon. Both aren't actually quite as good video cameras as this. More good news for the Canon 5D Mark III user. We have Magic Lantern giving us raw video sometime in the future. They've been developing a burst mode to capture DNG raw files from this camera. They burst. At the moment of this video, they're using 18 frames, I reckon, and like in 20 seconds, and it will give you all these files. Now, it's a bit awkward at the moment, honestly, I don't think you can get this consumer at this point, but people are trying it out and it's giving amazing results. Now Raw Video is giving us really good control over everything like definition, highlights, shadows, everything, colours, without having the trouble of warping compressed video, which has always been the problem with DSLRs having to colour grade. Okay, so Wolfdale released the Jade update. And it's surprising because I've never actually heard of the J series, but I have heard of the more famous Diamond. I have a pair of Diamond 7.1 loudspeakers behind me. I love them to pieces. And it's really are in pieces now. But the Jade speakers look pretty interesting. You see, I'm just reading off the screen at the moment, but they seem to handle quite a bit of power. We've got 3250 watts for the um, Jade 3, which is this kind of size, maybe a bit bigger. And um, so that's kind of what I'd upgrade to. But they look, they look a lot chunkier and it's interesting to see how they'll fare because their Diamond 121 wasn't quite as well reviewed because of the finish of them wasn't that well done. Okay, if you didn't know, my 18 to 55 lens is broken on my Nikon D3100. So I'm using a spare one at the moment, but I'm looking to kind of upgrade my camera, make it nicer. So what I've done is I've bought, and it's coming in the post, a DK23 eyepiece. Now that is like a small upgrade from the normal eyepiece you get on the Nikon low-end cameras. I just, I really like the look of it. It's kind of surprising why I bought it. I don't know why to be honest, but it's just nice. It cost me eight pounds. So then, what am I going to do for the lens? Now I've been looking at different manufacturers. There's Sigma, there's Tamron, I'm not sure about Tamron. There's Nikkor, which is obviously the one you go for, for this kind of thing. And I was looking at their lenses. They're all all right, they're very expensive, but the one that really caught my eye out of all the lenses I've been looking at is the Nikkor AF-S 18-105 lens. Now that has got VR, it's got ED a spherical element, so it should be pretty good quality. The only bad side is that it's the distortion is is a lot more, which can be corrected quite easily. Okay, so if you've watched all this part of the video, please could you tell me how did this video look? Did it did it work well? Would you want anything different? Do you like it? Please, you don't have to like, but comment, subscribe. Just tell me what do you think and what should I improve on this?